just like <clears throat> it seems like the motor is very bogged down the rpms need to be up higher and i believe the clutch kit is going to take care of that i believe the clutch kit is going to raise them rpms and get everything that this 400 can potentially do out of it so pumping it in high it's, it's not really doing anything it's just the RPMs are way too low now don't get me wrong it's still got it has a good bit of acceleration especially for a 400 cc engine But see, I'm 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 flooring it wide open out of these uh, out of these turns. So that was wide open. I believe the clutch kid is going to do great things. So uh, let's let's flash to that. I know without doubt that it's not it can't do a wheelie. Uh, it's just it ain't got enough. But if we look at the RPMs. Alright, we're at 1500, see it's all the way up to 2200 RPMs almost before it engages. So, alright enough of this before stuff, let's see what this clutch kit does to it. Here we go. Alright, so the clutch kit is installed, let's crank this thing up and let's let's try it out we're gonna start out in high and uh see what the clutch kit did for the old c force 400 oh that's nice already the the throttle engagement is in high gear is already much better oh yeah baby It's got some pull now. Oh boy. back here since we were last out here get after it so let me shut off for a second so that was high gear with the clutch kit now before in the footage earlier you were watching i was able to floor the throttle and i mean i wasn't getting much uh response out of the engine and uh the rpms were a lot lower 
So now this engine makes its horsepower at a higher RPM than what the stock setup was letting it get to. Now, one thing I do notice is when I punch it wide open right off the bat, I have about a, I don't know, a second and a half, not quite two seconds. This, it's, it feels lugged down and it's trying to go and then it just, it's like it winds up and, and tears out and it pulls really, really hard. Uh, and there's a, a strong acceleration. I mean, I'm running out of trail when before with the stock setup with the 400 i could just hammer it wide open and uh it the acceleration rate was not near as intense as what it is now um and uh before like i said before I, i've had a honda rancher i've owned a honda foreman and the stock 400 setup just stock out of the box off the showroom floor it will beat a, a honda you know and uh but anyways uh i like my hondas but this i'm just for reference sake many of you know about hondas and the their reliability is awesome and all those things but as far as just to give you an idea of the speed and power the 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 400 cc engine from cf moto is definitely faster and now that the clutch kit is on it pulls super good so now we're going to put it in low and we're going to try it out. I don't have anybody with me today to get some of that uh, third person footage or whatever you want to call it. But maybe this, maybe you can tell the difference just by this first person view. So uh, let's crank her up. Put it in low. Okay. Two wheel drive. We'll see what it's like. Before low gear was pretty nice. But now I think it's going to be a lot better. So here we go. Yeah, the, the initial grunt right off the bat, the throttle response, it's, it's pretty strong. Uh, and it, it winds out pretty quick. Okay, so low is, low was good stock, all right? But high was really lugged down. <clears throat> um, low gear is definitely, you definitely feel a lot more uh, grunt. It, it's, it's, it's clutch now to where it's not winding out and bogging the motor down. Low gear has plenty of pull. I can see you putting, uh, easily putting some, 27 inch zillas de uh, even 28 inch zillas maxis zillas on a 400 with a clutch setup and it'll handle them just fine it'd probably be best to stick with 27s uh but anyways um they these are the stock 25s off of a c force 500 but anyways uh clutch kit definitely a plus and definitely made an improvement to even the 400 c force so uh big thumbs up i've had many of you tell me or ask me what the top speed is on a c force 400 i don't know but uh let's go find out so uh let's go find out what the top speed is but first uh if you're wanting a clutch kit uh as of today today is what let's see today is tuesday uh this video is going to go live in the morning on wednesday so if you'll give main street cycle uh they should have these kits in next week uh so 
the the week after july 4th uh or the week of Ju yeah something like that anyways um that they, they'll have these kits in stock they're supposed to uh air down clutches is adam from air down clutches is putting all of them together each clutch setup that i have on the sea forces he's sending uh five of each to main street cycle plus he's building some for the z forces and the u forces and main street cycle will have them in stock they are the kits that adam has put together and uh, main street cycle is going to start selling them and they can ship them as well as install them if you can uh drive your atv or side by side to the shop there uh the the guys will will do an awesome job in the shop and get you fixed up and uh have you ripping and raring before you know it but uh anyways so uh i, I like the clutch kits definitely i think is uh the best performance modification that you can do to your atv or side by side hands down that the for the especially for the cost this is not this is way cheaper than getting a a programmer and an exhaust and i think it's a lot more effective so anyways i'm gonna hush let's go see what the top speed of a c force 400 is all right let's uh let's punch it and just see what the top speed is so we got 59 miles an hour on the uh speedometer i have my gps app going let me check it okay so top speed was 57 miles an hour 57 miles an hour and that is gps on my gps app uh the speedometer was saying 59 and uh so it's only two miles an hour off that's not bad so uh 57 miles an hour according to a gps 59 miles an hour according to the speedometer so and that's with uh these tires are one inch taller than the stock 400 uh tires so uh you can take that into consideration uh but anyways guys i love this seaforce 400 it's a great uh atv it handles well uh much faster than uh some of your other 400 class uh atvs out there on the market uh but anyways i like the 400 i like the clutch kit god bless y'all i'll see you in the next one